And when it comes to securing your personal devices, passwords and even fingerprints are considered by some as old fashioned. The electronics industry says it has found an even better way to protect consumer privacy. Yekenda McGahey explains. And you can monitor that from any Android, smartphone. Could there ever come a time when we never disconnect? So we'll unlock the door. Not even at home. Someone's come into your kitchen, your, your video camera will get activated and it'll start to send you a clip. Perpetual connection may be closer than you think as our homes, cars. Unfortunately, traffic is backed up on the interstate. And devices become increasingly smart and mobile. Experts say our privacy and security are being compromised more and more each day, making security measures such as pin codes and pattern locks obsolete. Thefts of data are happening quite frequently. Things like credit card numbers, passwords, social security numbers. Enter Sensory Incorporated, a speech technology company that says it's developed the best security technology available. The company says it calls the product truly secure because it is. I can get in by having it just look at me and then it opens up quickly or I can get in with my voice. Truly Secure incorporates dual biometrics or the use of two physical traits to identify a user. Sensory CEO Todd Moser. And it's a technology that allows you to um, keep your phone or your tablet very secure by having your personal information unlock it for you. It combines two different biometric technologies, a voice, so I can have a voice print that identifies me, and face. Let's just say I'm a thief or a hacker, and I've gotten a hold of Todd's phone and his passwords. Can I gain access with the truly secure biometric authentication technology in place? Let's see. Hello, Blue Genie. Nothing. But if Todd does it? Hello, Blue Genie. Bingo. He's in. Since it's not cloud-based, Moser says speech and face biometrics are more secure than fingerprint biometrics and also much cheaper. That's one of the issues with fingerprint is when you add on a, you know, a $5 sensor, it ends up costing a lot to the consumer. And we're using the microphone and the camera that's already on the phone so even low-end devices can do this. Sensory has recently released its technology to hardware developers. Experts say it'll take time for biometric authentication to become widespread, but it is inevitable as smart devices require smarter security measures. But if I put, hold the photograph of me in front of it, it won't open up. Ones that can even decipher virtual from reality. Yekenda McGahee, CCTV, Los Angeles.